I built these machines for fixing up our old houses. Now that the repair work is done, I use the electric tractor for other things. This is a rugged little construction machine for moving and grading dirt. When the construction is done, I use the electric tractor around the house. There is a seemingly endless array of attachments that can be made for this tractor. So the machine that did the heavy construction can also be used daily around the homestead. This means that I won't have a tarped up tractor sitting in the backyard. I use the electric wheelbarrow daily and all the other implements will be ready to be used when needed. The other nice thing about the 12 volt system on this tractor is that it can be charged from solar panels. Let's take a look at the system I use to get free energy. Okay, when I'm, when I'm using a machine and I want to, I need to bring the battery up to charge or if it's getting low, here is my charge center. Let's take a look over here. These are my solar panels. 400 watts, it's really not much of a system. I installed this system just to charge my tractors. After I'd used it for a while, we started having the power outages, then I added the inverter. So it's not a very big system. Now look at the next thing here. That, that tractor has four group 24 deep cycle batteries on it. That means that each battery has about 75 ampere hours of storage. So that's 300, about 300 ampere hours of storage. That's enough to run my house for two days. The solar does help a bit, but 400 watts will not keep up with what I'm using. So I can usually get about two days on a tractor and then I'll swap the tractor and let that one run the house. Here's, here's kind of a picture of what I've got going. Okay, this is my system. These are 10 amp controllers. I just happen to be retired from the RV industry. So we um, were actually throwing this away. We had so many that we were using and then we were installing 30 amp controllers because we were going to larger systems. I grabbed these 10 amp controllers and all, we, all I do, I just put three in parallel, not series, to, to handle my 400 watts up on the roof. So as you can see right here, the tractor's been on this for about an um, hour and a half. I'm 13.1 volts, which is almost completely charged. Each one will handle 10 amps. So that gives me the three in parallel will give me 30 amps. Now over here, this is my safety. This is a breaker in case there's a short, it shuts off. Now this is a switch that turns the power off and on to my inverter. Because if I'm not needing inverter power or if I'm not gonna be making any 110, I might as well shut the inverter power off because I don't need it. And this is my inverter. I originally got this inverter um, to run just some tools and stuff when I was out using my electric tractors. I would just hook it up to the tractors and then I would do whatever I needed to do. But since the power outages, I went ahead and set it up to run. I went ahead and set it up to run my house. I have two circuits in my house set up on this system. And then here's my battery. See, I got my battery bank on the tractor. Right now it's charging and I can also just use that to run my house if I want to. But for the most part, most of the time, it's just set up to keep my batteries charged so when I need a tractor, it's ready to go.